So once we've got a good understanding of how the, the inputs work, then we need to go through and have a better understanding of how the outputs work as well. So we're going to look at the outputs for the actual station right now. Okay, and looking at our print, we know that this is an indicator lamp right here, okay, by the IEC symbol, O colon 30, and this is an alarm lamp. Okay, and that is indicating right here on the station an alarm. The next output that we have is O colon 31, and you can see that it says A plus on here, so it is referring to this output solenoid valve right here. And you can see that this actual output is energized by the coil having the green light illuminated. That means that manipulator is backward. Okay, the next one is O colon 32, which is the other side of that. You've got forward and backward. So this being backwards, and the indicator light is on in the backward position, not the forward position. Okay, and our next output that we have on the screen is uh, O colon 33, which is manipulator down and that is going to be marked with the B plus. So right here on the actual relay, we see B plus and the manipulator down. That is going to be referring to the cylinder out here on the end of the station. Next one is our vacuum. Okay, when we turn the V plus solenoid on here, that's labeled to the vacuum output, it will energize the vacuum, which will then hold the body or bearing housing and prepare it for transfer. And our next output is reject forwards, which is C plus, as you can see labeled here, as the indicator known as reject forwards. And when that valve is energized, it will reject the part from the station. So our next cylinder is verify downward, O colon 36, and it can be identified by D plus here on the solenoid valve. And the verify forward we saw earlier is the cylinder that goes up and down to verify that we have a good part. And our next cylinder is pusher forward, and that's associated with this cylinder here, the pusher forward. And it's also labeled E plus or O colon 37, and we can see E plus right here on the actual solenoid valve. Next output that we have is feeder forwards. And that's the one that initiates all the movement when it starts here. This will be the actual first movement. It's going to push that in. And our last output is O colon 39, which is no material. So we need to know how each one of these valves works, and we need to know the addresses of each and every one of them. Okay, if we look here at the symbol, we have the electrical solenoid for the manipulator forward. And what that means is it has one electrical coil on it. So it takes electrical energy to energize it to make it go forward. And then when we remove that signal, it's going to automatically make it go backward. These are two position valves, only one solenoid. Okay, so you can see each one of the valves are all the same. They all have single coils on them. So they're all going to operate pretty much in the same manner. Okay, so that is basically our input schematic and our output schematic. Now the next one that I want to go over with you is the actual pneumatic schematic because we need to know how the valving is, is plumbed.